scenarios not necessary uh, in the world of uh, options wherever we use the word uh, exotic we generally uh, refer to the plain meaning as non normal non standard those are the ones we call as uh, exotic exotic products so the same uh, thing at least uh, from a, a broad overall perspective gets applied uh, even to exotic options in general we have uh, normal plain options like your uh, american or european options these are typically uh, categorized as plain vanilla kind of options or uh, probably any other derivative instruments which are traded very plainly on uh, the exchanges like your regularly traded futures or uh, the regular uh, deals on the otc market uh, which include forwards and swaps with with uh, very regular uh, features among uh, the various uh, participants all those things will get uh, considered as plain vanilla derivative products whereas uh, anything which a firm is uh, uh, using any combinations or uh, any specific uh, hedging model a firm is using which cannot be replicated or which cannot be created by the various existing plain contracts right uh, if, if at all okay the company has to hedge a portfolio x and uh, it is not able to find a suitable uh, combination of uh, contracts either on the futures market or on the european or american exchange uh, american uh, options market or in the regularly available forward or futures market so let's say such kind of uh, regularly uh, uh, available combinations are not suiting the purpose of uh, hedging for a particular company it can think of getting into an exotic uh, options or exotic derivatives contracts with its uh, client creating positions more or less on the similar lines of the head or uh, of the underlying position which it is having so if at all a hedging position is uh, created in a customized uh, manner based on the risks associated uh, with the Uh, portfolio of that particular uh, firm we are calling those kind of derivative contracts as exotic uh, derivatives so probably uh, because of uh, less liquidity more customization what you would uh, find is uh, if at all we are doing the pricing of the exotic options we have to be a uh, very careful because there are lot of challenges as far as uh, assessing the cost of it what is the current market value of it because it's not uh, frequently uh, traded and uh, how do you determine the payoffs or what is the mechanism or the duration or the timing of payoffs for these contracts all these things have to be carefully studied and understood in order to get into a exotic derivatives kind of a contract but if that is the case why do companies look at using exotic derivatives one straight forward benefit as i have already indicated they help in hedging the firm's underlying assets in a very unique manner probably a kind of a customized hedging is what they can very comfortably do that's one of the prime motivators to get into exotic uh, derivatives but at the same time they they can uh, do this for speculating purposes or for taxation and regulatory reasons but some of the things uh, which every organization has to go comfortably understand is have a thorough understanding of the payoffs it could include the timing of the payoff as well as the amount of payoff understand the payoffs in detail 
and also the credit risk involved because uh, they are not exchange traded kind of contract so understand the credit risk involved in uh, the entire derivatives uh, transaction and based on that do the pricing because generally you are taking more risk so you have to be compensated with more benefit that will definitely be existing but it should be in proportion with the amount of risk that you are taking so a risk uh, adjusted return determination can be done only if you can understand the payoffs as well as the credit risk involved in these transactions then see whether your organization or uh, uh, or uh, you yourself can estimate the costs correctly the costs of creating an exotic derivative product do you have the pricing models uh, which could monitor the value of the non traded derivatives over time because these are all illiquid very little trading available on them so is there any kind of a mechanism to understand the pricing behavior of these derivatives and uh, there is a possibility that most of these uh, derivative contracts will have some penalties or probably large bid ask spreads so do you have any mechanism or are there any uh, pricing models or mechanisms available which can help you in understanding when to reverse the position after taking into consideration all these penalties and bid ask spreads and all is the is there a possibility to reverse the position to get a profit or uh, uh, under what circumstances the positions can be reversed all these things are very challenging